Well, she's got a different shirt on, too. Abigail, you're going to be over here with this group. This is Abigail's group. What up, Gina? Gina, you're going to be with this group. This group is rowdy enough for you. Hi, guys. So, remember, we have finals week right now. Uh, so, keep it respectful. Keep fun. Uh, keep questions low. So, without further ado, tour guys, have fun. Take your groups. Get out of here. Be back here by 3 o'clock. No later than 3 at this spot. Got it. Okay, you guys ready? students that want to come to PMTC. So that includes we go to like college fairs, we go um, to other high schools just to show them kind of what PMTC is like or what college life is like. And we call people and tell them about PMTC and then also obviously we give tours to people. In this hallway we have also our testing center. So anybody that needs to take a test for possibly an online class or just an in class, they can take a test down. So in this area, we also have our service center, so pretty much anyone that needs help for those things, go there to ask them. We usually can either help you or send you someone that can help you. And then we also have our student life right here, which has our um, associated student government in it, which is pretty much, they're kind of like ambassadors, but what they do is they more plan our big events and stuff. And then also it's pretty fun in here because students can just come in and we have games, we have TV, and it's just like a nice place for students to hang out. And some of the things ASG does is like also plan events for students to go to. Like we've had some hiking, trips that are paid for and we've had some like skiing trips that are paid for that are pretty fun. That's what they do. And this right here is our health and wellness center and what they offer is four free sessions for students and then after the fourth session they refer you to someone in the community so they pretty much are here to help you with just when you need someone to talk to if you need someone to talk to about like how you're feeling or like your grades or just any really reason that you need to talk to someone so this is our student success center so it's pretty much in here they have all of the success coaches, which kind of set you up to what classes you're going to go into for the your intended degree. And also some things we have in here are we have just a bunch of computers for students to use whenever they need to. And also we offer free tutoring for students for certain classes. So that's pretty nice if you just like needed help, you can just come down here and figure out who's tutoring. And for people that play sports, they have a required like three hours that they have to spend in here per week studying. So there's usually some requirements for studying in a success center. But then we'll continue to go with them. So this 
is an immigrant hall, and in the immigrant hall, we just have pretty much your all your math classes that are available here. So um, it's a pretty basic building. There's just some math classrooms down there, and then also some math classrooms down there. And then at the very end, we have like a math um, study area. Anybody have any questions yet? No. No? Okay. No. <laughs> so right here in this grass area is called the quad. And the quad, we usually have like pretty fun events out here. We sometimes play like intramural sports. Do you guys know what those are? Just like No. No? They're just like sports that you don't have to be on a team or anything, but you sign up for them and they're pretty fun. We played Capture the Flag out here and we've also had some barbecues out here, so they usually make Do you play soccer? They probably play soccer, I'm not sure yet, but you could really do anything out here and it's like free for anyone to use at any time. But we do have a soccer team. So guys, we're going to head out to the farm right now. We have about like a hundred acres of land out here and they do some research on crops and stuff over here and then obviously we have our Thank <laughs> you. 
pen that they put like cows in to like see if they're like pregnant. Uh -huh. So this is our um, That's like cow shoot and stuff like that. Yeah. So what they can do is they can put one of the cows in here and they can do anything from like immunizations. This is also where they put Andy, the fisculated cow, to check the contents of his stomach. Yeah. And this machine is also really new. It's dangerous. Well, kind of it's for the cows, I guess. They So they come in over there and then they go through this whole thing and then end up in here. And what this is supposed to do is pretty much like protect the person that is trying to work on the cow and protect the cow from hurting themselves and just keep them pretty stable. So, does anybody have any questions? I haven't done this before. I'm not in the ag program, so I haven't gone to use any of this stuff. Yeah, it would be cool. So this is our health and education building. So in this building we have all of our, pretty much the only classes that are in here are for nursing students. And here we have a nursing program that you do two years of prerequisites and then you get into the nursing program and do another two years. And then, um, so back here we have some pretty cool things. We have a sim that So those are the sports we have, and we have a lot of um, our basketball games and volleyball games in here, and it's pretty fun. We usually have a pretty good student section, so. And also in here we have all of the athletic, um, the coaches and everybody that is in charge of athletics, so they're always here to answer questions and stuff. So right here we used to have a pool, but they actually shut that down and now they're going to make it into turf for the soccer players because um, our soccer team is pretty new and they don't really have a place to practice in the winter, so they're trying to make it easier for them to practice in the winter by adding some turf to the pool. And then we'll head down here. <laughs> Like all the tools and stuff, and in here, so any student can use it. 
this for free um, during the hours. And then also, there's some of the degrees you have to have PE credits, and so you can take like a weight class. And what you do is you would sign into the computer and then just like log your hours and do your own workouts that you want to. And I'll show you guys. stands for the games, okay. so that's pretty cool. We always have some pretty good food there. Music. So this is our art department, and we have some classes like drawing, painting, and we have ceramics, we have pottery, sculpture. So um, usually when you're getting like your transfer degree, you have to take an art class and you can take any of these art classes and they're pretty cool classes i think yeah we have a store guys so this is our bookstore we just have a little and um the things they offer here is you can buy and sell back books so when you're starting your new term they usually give you um all your classes and then you can come in here and tell them which classes you have and they will get all the books that you need and um, also at the end of the term if you have um if your books are a certain type you can sell them back and get a little bit of money back for them which is really nice because college books are pretty expensive so getting any money back for them is like a good thing and then also in here you can just get like any kind of supplies that you needed if you ran out of something and then also snacks and We have um, art shows. Uh, we have two a term, so that's six art shows a year. And usually they are people from either like near Pendleton or they can even be from far away. But we have some pretty interesting artists that come, and usually we have like a gallery night that people are allowed to go in and check out the art, and then it's usually open during the days. So that's pretty cool. Who is it? Theater here. And in our theater, we have three shows a year. And for students, you get a discounted price to get into the shows. And they're usually pretty fun shows. These are some of them that have been in here. So this is our library. And in here, you can check out books. And also, there is some, it's almost quiet in here, so it's a really good place to study. And then upstairs, we also have multiple study rooms that you can um, check out and you can either study on your own or you can also get a group of people to study with for your classes and um, you can also print things in here so it's a pretty good resource for your book when you're starting out. <coughs> Have you ever read books you can just buy? I haven't. I've, I've like read my, I guess I've read my school books but I haven't like came in here. It's probably the night too. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite class? So this is called our student union, and it's pretty much like a cafeteria, and um, we don't have a meal plan or anything, but we do have catering, so <laughs> their food is pretty good, and it's not too expensive, so 
we don't have a meal plan, but also it's still pretty cheap, so it's not too bad. And then um, we also have some, we have like a pool table and we have the ping pong and all those games in there, which you can just play whenever you want to, and they're pretty fun. See what elk dog. I don't know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>